Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Bernard of Clairvaux, abbot and doctor of the Church. Let us pray in this Mass that we may imitate the love of St. Bernard for God and for the Church. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made of the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with zeal for your house and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ruth. 
Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons, who married Moabite women, one named Orpah, the other Ruth. When they have lived there about ten years, both Malin and Kelion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back from the plateau of Moab, because word reached her there that the Lord visited his people and given them food. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, See now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not ask me to abandon or forsake you, for wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Thus, it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law, Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, it is quite clear from the response of Jesus to the question of the scholar of the law, as we heard in our gospel today, that the greatest commandment is love. To love God above all else and to love our neighbor as ourself. Love is the greatest commandment. But my dear brothers and sisters, we might ask, but what is love? How is it to love? How do we love? How do we love God? How do we love our neighbor? Many say that one of the best expressions of love is presence because love always longs for presence. No wonder why we always long to be with the people we love. We always find time for people who are dear to us. And even if we do not have time, we will make time just to be with them. People who love want to be with the people who are dear to them. People who love will always be available for the important people in their lives. That is why when somebody tells you, I love you, but always find excuses not to be with you. If a person tells you, I love you, but would always say, I'm sorry I could not be with you because I am busy, you need to question if that person really loves you. Mahal ka, pero wala namang panahon para sa'yo. Mahal ka, pero wala namang oras na ibinibigay sa'yo. Because to say I love you also means I am here for you. I am available for you. I will always find time for you. We see a beautiful example of love as presence in our first reading today. In our first reading, we heard the beautiful story of Ruth and his mother-in-law, Naomi. Both Ruth and Naomi were widows. But because Ruth was still young, Naomi told her daughter-in-law, you better go back to your people. Probably you could still remarry. Ruth was a foreigner, a Moabite. And so there was really reason for her to leave Naomi, return to her people, and start a new life. But Ruth decided to stay with Naomi, her mother-in-law. Quite an unusual story. Hindi tayo madalas makakarinig ng ganitong relasyon ng magbiyanan. And Ruth even said to Naomi, Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. This is love expressed in presence. 
We also see another example of this in St. Bernard of Clairvaux, whose memorial we celebrate today. St. Bernard loved God so much that he dedicated his whole self to God. At the early age of 20 years old, he entered a Cistercian monastery. He loved the church so much that he was always available. He was always at the service of the church. St. Bernard was an advisor of the popes. He was a defender of the faith. He was a reformer of a monastic order. He was a biblical scholar, a theologian, an eloquent preacher. St. Bernard also loved his neighbor so much that he attracted many to follow the Lord. In fact, two of his uncles and five of his brothers joined the monastery with him and two of, her, of his sisters became Benedictine nuns, a whole family of religious. There is a book written about Bernard's family, and the title of the book is The Family That Conquered Heaven. You see what the love for God can do. My dear brothers and sisters, love is presence. If we say we love God, do we have time for God? Do we give time to God? If we say we love our family, do we spend time with them? Love is presence. May we always show our love to others by our presence and availability for them. And this is also the reason why God is love. God is love because He is always present. This is how God shows His love for us, by being always present to us. Isn't it that God promised, I will be with you always until the end of time. That is God assuring us of His perpetual presence. That is God telling us, I love you. I am here always for you. Let our prayers show that we love the Lord God with all our heart, with all our soul, mind, and strength. Let our prayers show that we love our neighbors as we respect and reverence ourselves. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its leaders, may bring the faithful to a deeper knowledge and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That obedience to God's law may guide us those may guide those who govern us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That our homes may be places of God's presence where everyone is taught to care and respect one another as a child of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring to His eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. And we also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, you reveal your will to us through your commandments. As we bring these petitions before you, give us the grace to live, uh, to live out these commandments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and concord to your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Bernard, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us, so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate Word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We thank you for joining our Mass this morning, especially the academic community of Colegio de Santa Rosa, our neighbor here in Intramuros, the Agustinian Recollect Sisters, the administrators, faculty, staff, and students of Colegio de Santa Rosa as they begin the school year 2021-2022. Maraming salamat po sa pakikiisa sa ating pagdiriwang ngayong umagang ito. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.